As we all know, the capital is the most important political, economic and cultural center of a country and a symbol city of national sovereignty. Therefore, once selected, it cannot be easily changed, but there are exceptions. In July 2015, Egypt made up its mind to build a modern new capital and spent $45 billion for it. This construction project immediately became a favorite among countries around the world. The United States, Japan, Germany and other countries have sent personnel to Egypt to negotiate, hoping to reach cooperation. But surprisingly, Egypt refused all of them and directly stated that only China was chosen. So why is Egypt spending so much money to build a new capital? And why does it directly specify that it can only be built by China? What is the state of construction in the new capital today? Hi. Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. Why is Egypt spending so much money to build a new capital? As the capital of Egypt, Cairo spans the Nile River. It is the most important commercial center in the entire Middle East. It is also the largest city in Africa and the Middle East, known as the mother of cities in Egypt. However, behind the prosperity of Cairo has also brought many problems, the biggest of which is that the urban population has grown rapidly and the population density is too high. Cairo's population has been skyrocketing since the 1960s, growing from around 3.5 million to more than 22 million today. At this rate of population growth, Cairo's population is likely to exceed 40 million by around 2050. In the face of rapid population growth, Cairo's area of more than 3,000 square kilometers is under unprecedented pressure. The city is dirty, traffic jams are severe, and many people can only squeeze into dilapidated houses and shanty towns. According to statistics, nearly 10 million people in Cairo are living in illegal buildings, and as the city's population density increases, people even live in the cemetery and historical sites in the city center. It is also based on the current situation in Cairo that the Egyptian government also realized that if the city does not expand, it is likely to cause the paralysis of the urban balance system. In 2015, the Egyptian government made up its mind to spend $45 billion to rebuild a new capital. By then, the new capital will be built into the next Dubai in the desert. So, where will Egypt's new capital be built? Will it really be Dubai in the desert? Will the new capital be the next Dubai in the desert? About 95% of Egypt's land area of more than 1 million square kilometers is desert and semi-desert landforms. It is dry and has little rainfall throughout the year. Except for the mild climate in the Nile Delta and the northern coastal areas, most of the rest of the country has a tropical desert climate. Therefore, after comprehensive consideration, the Egyptian government decided not to occupy the country's scarce farmland resources, but chose to build the new capital in a desert area 45 kilometers away from Cairo. The planned total area of the new capital is about 700 square kilometers, which is basically the size of a Singapore. It can accommodate 5 to 7 million Egyptian residents, which can greatly ease the population pressure in Cairo. At the same time, the planned new capital would be plain to be on par with other modern cities in the world, striving to create the most luxurious city in the desert. According to Egypt's blueprint, what are the main aspects of the luxury and modernization of the new capital? First, the building design of the important functional institutions of the state is very bold and the shape is very novel. For example, the world's largest people's square is planned to be built, including the world's tallest flagpole and the monument to the unknown soldier with ancient Egyptian characteristics. In addition, there is a defense octagon with a great sense of design. Second, it will have perfect cultural infrastructure. For example, the local mosque under construction is expected to accommodate more than 100,000 worshippers, making it one of the largest mosques in the world. There are also cultural arts city and sports city under construction, which will become the largest cultural city and international sports center in the Middle East. 
In addition, they will build the knowledge city, making it the cradle of Egypt's high-tech and innovation. Third, the new capital will also have the tallest iconic tower in Africa, also known as the tallest building in Central Africa, which is equipped with office buildings, apartments, hotels, observation decks, etc. to achieve multifunctional utility. Of course, these buildings are only a small part of the new Cairo blueprint, and more importantly, the plan covers a lot of modern equipment inside. For example, all buildings in the new capital are equipped with advanced temperature control system devices, which can automatically adjust the temperature according to local climate changes. At the same time, all roofs are equipped with solar energy and other equipment to make full use of clean energy and reduce urban pollution. For example, in terms of urban greening, an artificial landscape river with a length of about 35 kilometers will be built, named Green River, and it will become the largest park in the world. In a word, according to Egypt's blueprint, this new Cairo, rising from the desert, not only will not be disturbed by sand and dust, the residents living in it can breathe fresh air freely, and the interior will be fully modernized. That is to say, after the completion of new Cairo, it will become a new dream home for the Egyptian people. So why is China its only option? In 2018, the CBD project of the new capital of Egypt, which was built by China, officially started. The two towers of the project are both 142 meters high and the total construction area is about 170,000 square meters. It is an urban complex construction project integrating office, business, garage and other comprehensive functions. It is precisely because of seeing the huge business opportunities and future potential of this construction project that the United States, Japan, Germany and other countries have sent applications to Egypt for cooperation. Unexpectedly, they were all rejected by Egypt one by one. And Egypt has made it clear that the project can only be built with Chinese help. And in 2015, China State Construction Engineering Corporation formally signed a relevant agreement with Egypt. In this regard, some countries said that Egypt's move is intended to win over China. In fact, Egypt's choice has nothing to do with politics. In short, this is a very sensible and rational choice. Because in recent years, China's investment in infrastructure has far exceeded that of other countries in the world. In addition, the super projects completed in China always put quality first, as evidenced by projects such as the Three Gorges Hydropower Station, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, and the China Railway. Starting from the start of construction on May 2, 2018, it took less than three years to complete the capping of the main project. After entering the standard layer, the first layer can be completed in basically three to five days, and even the fastest time can be completed in about 100 hours. China once again proved to the world what China's speed is. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.